Okay, so this is par five. Five hundred and odd yards, isn't it? Five. It says at the back there, though. I kind of read this. Hold on. Five hundred and seventeen yards. Five hundred and seventeen yards. Ready, hope. The other one I've got now is a tight list because I don't like switching pins between these two balls but that was just the one I quickly got out when I lost my uh, the one on the par 3 I just quickly got that out and it was a tight list I don't like to switch them down between rounds but still have all this one out and I've got to leave it If I run out of room there, it might even have to be a provisional, so I'll have to use the tight list. Everything is falling off the right, I'm rolling, I don't know why. Try again. That's better, it's low. I run up there, it's low, and I've hit it well. It's more like me, just normally get a little bit more height, it ran down low that one, but I know that one's safe, I'm sure the other one is too, I'm just, haven't got the local knowledge, I'm sure the first cut will hold it up, but we'll see when we get up there. Yeah, well this one's, uh, oh god it's miles away still, because I drew it I've took a lot of pain from it. Oh, 300 yards. No way I'm making that. Three. It is, lad. 300 yards. Yeah, so not as good as I think. Nice hybrid. Just get it straight down there. As far as you can. That's fine. It's good. It's a good hit. Probably pitching wedge or nine iron left if I'm lucky. If if I've hit it well. But we'll see where we get down there. I don't know if you can see the other ball, but it's a good 30, 40 yards up there. That would have made a hell of a difference to me. Fuck oh, me. I think I got that yardage wrong. Because I hit that hybrid very well. I think that's the wrong yardage. Sometimes I don't think this range finds a hundred percent accurate when it's uh, slow breaking and everything. It's like, uh, of course, the slow packs are everything. It's not taking the slow packs into consideration, is it? That says 138.2, and yet that's the 150 stake there. I was thinking it would be about 150 yards, but 138.2, I'll take it. Uphill slightly. Is it in me face the wind? I'm just thinking pitching away during a nine. If it's if it's in me face, it's gonna have to be a nine. Well, that doesn't tell you much. I'll go pitching wedge, strong pitching wedge. See if I can get it there. I think it's blowing slightly to the right. Yeah, yeah, it's going in my face. 
case. It is going in my face. It's got to be the ninth. It's a good job I've pulled away then. Because you can just feel it now. It's right in my face. Right on the uh, right of the green, but uh, I think it's all right. I think it's okay. I think we might be putting, or at the very least, it's a little pitch on. Uh, so yeah, another par opportunity coming up. Yeah, well, it looks like all things have been put. I don't know if I recorded the footage on the putting green on the 12th or not. I might have forgot to do it. The 13th I did. I'm sure I did. Uh, I'm sure I recorded the 13th post. Sorry, it's just the brain fog. I might not have recorded it. But anyway, if you haven't, I, um, I didn't record it. I, uh, I think I two put it for par. If I remember correctly, bloody lucky. If a metre to the, the right of me on the tee shot was the last ball, and then half a metre to the right of me was a bunker. Uh, that would have ran down at the bunker into the slope on the green. So that was a bloody lucky hole. So yeah, the golfing gods were with you there. Anyway, this one is uh, 352 yards. Maybe a little bit less because it looks like the tees are a bit further forward. So. Downhill is flying, I don't know where the fairway leads to. I'm presuming it kicks off to the right here. Or I might go down into that valley. So, what I'm going to do is just take a hybrid name for the, the slope. I mean, I could go for the driver, I just don't know where I'm driving it. So, Today, my my balance now I've been saying about my drives before I'm completely sometimes I lose my balance a little bit I completely lost my balance there I completely lost my balance it's resulting in a bad shot 
it might just be tiredness, it might just be me, I just don't know, but that's gone straight up, it hasn't gone as far as I would have liked, and I'm going to have a difficult second shot now, although I know where it's at, it's safe, it's kicked off to the bank on the left, it's going to be a difficult second shot now. No, it doesn't actually, the, uh, the hole in line where the flag is, I don't know if you can see the little green stake, the 150 green stake, it's just to the left of that where the pin is. Say about 160. So it's gonna be my eight, my eight iron. Although it's in my face, isn't it? Mm, seven might be a bit too much. Like you see on the last hole, the wind was pretty strong. No, I'll go with a seven. I'll go with a seven. I'm gonna do a seven. Just don't whack it. Just do it 90% seven iron. Green marker is John, that's the line. I can't actually see the flag from here. If I move up a few yards, I can see the flag stick, but I can't actually see it from here. Like here, here now, I can actually see it for a few yards back, believe it or not. I can't see it. Perfect. I saw it just short of the green bounce, but after that I haven't seen it. So that might have rubbed onto the green. It might be all right actually. That might be a good second shot, and we might be looking okay for uh, for even birdie here. Well, rather than forced it here, just a little bit too hard. It's ran past the green. Can't put, 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 I can't put this unfortunately. Oh, God. Well, I said at some point it was going to let me down. I did say, girlfriends, at some point my short game one's going to let me down, and it's let me down there. I've over predicted it, I've over predicted how quick it was, and it's gone nowhere. Never mind. That's free anyway. This should have been a par hole. There's a chance for par, but. That should have been a par hole. Never mind, it's a five. Puts me on 65. I think the break 80 is gone. But in four holes, I've got 19 shots. I've got to go on plus three by the looks of it plus three break 85 which is which is good enough to be fair good enough to be fair I should be able to do that if if I can just hold me nerve and hold me bottle and yeah just keep it together right this is a par three 
132 yards. Take the rangefinder up. Pitching wedge and a nine, I think, just in case it's a bit longer. So you won't be able to see us, but it's one of these things again up on a platform where I can't take the uh, the bug me cart up. So you're going to have to uh, bear with us. But um, yeah, again, it, it looks it looks pretty featureless. I can't see any visible bunkers at the minute, it looks pretty featureless, but I bet it's not as easy as it looks. It's 139.5. Just, just take an iron, I think. Just control it, don't hit it too hard. I hit it well, it just, it just went left, the push to the left. That always used to be my fault, the push to the left. Now and again, I, I just push the odd one to the left. I don't know why I do it, but that's what happens. The occasional one goes off to the left. I mean, it's a little pitch onto the green. It's still a chance of par, but God, I could have done without being on the green. It would have took a lot of pressure off us, but it's back to the short game again. Yeah, well, I said there was no bunkers. What an idiot that is. There's one at the front of the green, to the left. And there's one at the front of the green on the right. So, yeah, I made a cut for that one, didn't I? But I'm not in them, luckily. I'm just off to the side. That's good. That's good. Just one bad pitch and back on us. That's good. Well done. Uh, went off a little bit to the right again. Close knowledge. That's just the slope of the green. If I knew that, I would be okay. But uh, not to be this time. But hopefully now I've got a put for par. Gets me back in it. Man, it's a four. It's put pressure on us that I didn't need. It's a four. Makes me 69. 69 with three to play. To bring 85, I've got 14 shots. Four, nine, four, oh, four, nine, thirteen, fourteen. No, I've got 15 shots. So I've got to do the next three holes and plus two to break 85. I just hope I can do it. I mean, I was looking at after the front nine to break 80. And now, after I've tired all of a sudden, my golf game's deteriorated a little bit. And now I'm struggling. But uh, no, no, 
I can still do this, it's plus two. If I par one and bogey the two, I've done it. And I'm more than capable of doing that. 16th, 345 yards off the slope. It looks open to the right, so I might, I might pull the driver out here. Try and get myself up there. If I can, try and get it up there. Yeah, I'm going to try and do it. It mightn't work for us, but I've got to give it a go. Get a decent drive. And give yourself a par attempt. At the very least, I might even give myself a birdie attempt. So I'm going to have to give this a go. Jeez, the drive's gone nowhere. Right, 172 yards. Which way's the wind blowing? It's hit the bank. It's a steep bank, I just couldn't get it up there. Wind's helping us. Take the seven. God almighty. Absolutely knackered. Absolutely knackered. Right, here we go. What a kick that bloody was. Oh, man. Well, you're not going to believe it, golf friends, what's up, but it's, it was a decent shot. Bit right. But the slope, the slope goes all the way to the right at the top. It's hit the slope and it's rolled all the way back down. It's where that tee box is off there on the right. You know what? The fatigue, the tiredness, combined with a lot of course knowledge, it's finally caught up with us. I knew, and I, I, I knew at that ninth hole I was drained. I was bloody drained. I mean, I can still do it. I can still pitch this on for a three, put four or five. I can still do this. But, again, one bad hole, that, 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 that last ball on the par three is knackered us. It's absolutely knackered us. Uh, I've just got no energy. I've got no, I've got no left to give, but I'm going to keep fighting, I'm going to keep pushing. I ain't going to give up. I ain't going to give up. Uh, where is my ball? Somewhere down here, I took the most awful kick off of this bank. I saw it head towards the right bunker, and I thought it's not too bad, worst ways it might be in the bunker. And it just took the most god awful kick I've ever seen in my life. Um, here it is, here it is. Oh, I've got to get it right over this bunker. It's down to my short game again, old friends. It's down to the miracle shot again. Have I got it in me? Have I got it in me? I don't know. You know. At this stage, I honestly don't know. At this stage, I do not know. Where's the range finder? So it's slightly uphill. If you're looking 43, 44 yards. Come on. Can't do this. Can't do this. Get 
first part you do in the short game, come on. Good throw part today. Go up that spell and keep pushing. Do not let you down. I'm sorry golf this, I'm really struggling. Come on. it again just, just for a practice but I knew eventually that was going to let me down oh, I, I, you know you can't just keep producing shots shot after shot after shot like this over bumps and over bounds have another go at it John that's better yeah. you can't keep producing shots like that over and over and over again touch feel muscle memory it's, it's just too hard I mean, I'm pretty good at that, but even I can I cock it up, I cock it up, and there we go. I can't just keep producing shots like that, and I've got myself in a right mess now. Three in the bunker, and ah, never mind. From the other shot, the distance control was perfect, so it's not like you know I'm gone, right? Try a 60 out. Yep, that's four. I'll just put it up here, golf friends, so you can, you can see. Sorry, I stopped recording there. Eh? Right. Seven. I think that's it. I think that's it, knackered. Seven there puts me seventy six. Eight shots, I've got to go. Got to go birdie par now. Got to go birdie par. I don't believe what I've done. Never mind. Never mind. Eight. 
Yeah, I just I can't believe what I've done, golf friends. I just I, I just I just can't believe what I've done. I can't get over it. That's two bad holes. A seven and a six destroyed us. But no, man. Oh, I found it. Oh. I'll just hit the other one. Well, he's, he's provisional. I mean, I picked up the other one. That's it. It's finished. It's, it's, it was gone. It was gone anyway, so... Uh, I wasn't too concerned, to be honest. The round's done. It's finished. You know, we shouldn't have two young kids and bloody the dad walking on the golf course just freely like this when, when you're playing. It's just not right, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, golf friends. Uh, I shouldn't be blaming young kids and stuff like that, but last few holes, this, this dad and this kid have been walking around the course getting in my way. This kid who's just hitting the ball 10 yards and stuff, that's all well and good, but for God's sake... You know, get them on a par three course or something. Don't, don't put them on a proper course where people are playing. Oh, taking frustration out on him. Hundred nine point seven. The fact is, mentally now I'm gone. Physically, I was gone on the ninth hole, and. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm just done. I'm going to get the tub out. I don't know how many shots I've had. I've had one. I mean, what's the rules? One, two, three, pick up four, unplayable five, five to here, five's here. Hold on a minute, tee shot. Then hack out to two, hack out three, drop down four, five. No, this is me sixth. I think this is me sixth. I think that's the I'm, I'm not I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just gone mentally. So I think this is me sixth. That's drifting right. Yeah, I've had six, I think. 
I just I just know I just know the break 85 is gone and uh, that's it really Right Well, you can, you can tell golf friends I'm just gone. I'm absolutely gone. I've got this kid in his head watching me and they've got to think, what plunker is this? I just, I just want to get off. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, girlfriends. I just want to get off. I've played absolutely disgusting this last few holes. I've played this person, I've got no energy to speak of. Brain fog. Mentally I'm gone. I've got a kid shouting. I've had a bloody kid shouting all the way around the last four holes. Bloody watching us sit still. Not that I should get to us like. Not that a young kid watches us and his father watches us round should get to us, but. Again, the right in the bloody field of vision. Right in the field of vision. Enjoyment has been taken all out of this round with those last few holes. Unbelievable.
Yeah. Well. I think the other ball's gone. Oh Jesus golf things, I'm I'm so disappointed in myself. I know I know I'm I've never been as tired as this on a golf course before. I've never been as tired as this. The ninth, I was absolutely just, I don't know, it just suddenly hit us. The fatigue and everything, little things annoyed us the last few holes. I noticed I was playing all right, then all of a sudden the ninth just, woof, all went to pot. No energy, I've lost balls. I used to be provisional, I have to be third, so I've had, this is my fourth I've had. And it's, it's spoiled a very enjoyable round up until that point. It really has. Um, my score's going to look very, very silly when I, when I add them all up. It's going to look very, very silly. Um, because up to this point, up to the ninth, I was doing very, very, very well. And I cannot believe I've let this happen. I cannot believe I've let this happen. To just mentally disintegrate like that. I know I'm so tired, but that has never happened to me before. Just the last few holes just mentally disintegrating like that. I've never been as tired in my life, but mentally I've never been as drained in my life. And I'm a tough bloke, you know, but I just I don't know. I do not know what's happened. But uh, anyway, I'll put this. See if I can. Where's the nearest 14 story building? <laughs> Seriously, that is that is just not on John. Uh, I think this is the way. The way back, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'm just gonna go this way. Because I'm just not sure where the hell I'm going. Well, I think that was an eight. And it spoiled a very, very enjoyable round. Still halfway through. I was playing so well. And now I'm just... Jesus, I'm out. Yeah. 
probably want to skip all this up to this point. Let me just hold on. Oh god, this is still recording. Oh. Well, God, friends, I'm um, back in the car now. Um, I, d I don't know what to say. I, d I don't know what to say. Honestly, um, I feel like I've left myself down. I feel like I've let you down. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. It's, it's really hurting me. It, I know it's just a game of golf, around a round of golf on my own. But for God's sake, have some pride, John. You know, I was playing so well. And then I, I was running out uh, after the tenth. No, the 11th. The, when I got to the 11th, I felt absolutely zapped. And I mean zapped. I started sweating. I, I started aching. I had no energy. I felt sick. I mean, I'm sweating now. Um, I've, I've, I've played 18 holes of golf before. Come off absolutely knackered, but nothing like this. And... I just think by the time I got, I think it was the 15th or 16th. I mean, by the 12th, I was buggered. I was absolutely knackered. I was just taking breaks and everything. And after that, me golf to Thierry after the 12th, I mean, I went 6, 5, 4, 69. And up to that point, I was doing well. And then 7, 9, 8. Lost balls, couldn't hit a good shot, puts all over the place, short game all over the place. And I think as well, on the 16th, once I knew the 85 was gone, mentally I'd, I'd gone. Because I just said, I'm knackered, I'm buggered, I've played so well on that front nine, I got to 39. And then when I realised the 85 had gone, that was it, I, I just, I, I wasn't interested anymore. And mentally on a golf course, I've never been like that. I've, I've never just, after that, just said I'm not interested anymore in this. I've never been like that. I've never been just, ah, I've, I've, I'm sick now, that's it. I've just, I'm just going hit, to hit the balls, get in the clubhouse and just bloody feel sick. I've, I've never been like that. I, I don't think the fatigue helps. I don't think the brain fog helps. The irritability, I don't think that helps. Where sometimes I can't stand still. I don't think any of this helps sweating being absolutely knackered to the point where you you can't bloody walk properly i just think i've pushed myself too far today i think i've picked a bad day to play golf and i've just pushed myself too far um like i say i, I tire very very easily some days i'm better than others and i've just i've picked a i just uh, I've just picked a bad day. I've picked a bad day to play golf. And I was feeling good getting that 39. But at the ninth hole, I started to think, hold on, this isn't right. I'm starting to feel a bit more tired than usual here. Um, I was very thirsty, drinking a lot. Uh, I was I was thinking, I need some energy. And I was eating Kit Kats. I was eating Twixes to try and get my energy levels back up. Didn't work. I tried one of those uh, protein bars. Didn't work. I tried everything and me, me energy's just gone. And I think that's what's done me in at the end of the day. Um, so I'm I'm really sorry. Um, especially those last three holes. I've, I've let myself down big time there. Mentally, I just said, I'm knackered. I'm finished. I'm buggered. And I can't even break 85 now. What's, you know, what's the point of this? And I should never have been like that. You know, it was an enjoyable round of golf. It was an interesting course. It was a hilly course. It was undulating, which doesn't help me, you know. But the actual course, I enjoyed it. Good layout. 
good greens, interesting holes. Um, the par threes, I was quite surprised. There wasn't many bunkers apart from one par three, which had two bunkers at the front. Um, and the one I lost the ball on was pretty featureless, but these par threes aren't as easy as you think. I mean, no, they're, they're not easy. The undulations, I mean, you're looking at the course, it's coming out again. It's a little bit like CM5,000. 801 yards but the yardage does not does it doesn't do it justice a par 70 but it doesn't do it justice i think seeing was 5811 something this is 5801 it doesn't do it doesn't do the course justice this course is a lot harder than the slope rating of 68.5 and par 70 it's a lot harder than that the undulations the slopes it's a very very interesting course it's a tough course I, i'd rate this yeah, I'd rate this as tough as seam. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would. I, I think the undulations and stuff and the slope, the slope rating. I mean, this slope rating is 129, right? How the hell is that 129 and you go to seam? That's a little bit more undulating than this course. And that's 116 or whatever it was i just i don't understand how the how they do these slow ratings it just doesn't seem right to me but no it's a very good course and it would be another course i'd have on my bucket list um i think the last few holes were decent holes i just didn't appreciate them because i was just going around buddy in a daze just like in, in a... <sighs> I've, I've never been like that on the golf course i mean look at me now i'm, I'm sweating I've, I've never been like that I've never been so buggered on a golf course and I've never mentally disintegrated like that in the last three holes. I've I've never done that. I always I'm always a strong finisher. Even if it's bogey, bogey, bogey. I, I've I, very rarely I go plus three, plus three, plus four. I don't do that. I don't do that. I'm not that sort of golfer. If ever I'm gonna struggle, it's gonna be the first few holes when I'm I'm a bit nervous and stuff, and then I pick my game up after that. But look at look at these first three holes, the par four are pard. The par three plus one, and then the third hole plus one, plus one again, and then I've gone par plus one, par, par plus one. That's the back, that's the front nine. Then you go to the back nine, plus one, plus, plus three, par, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus three, plus four, plus four. That's not me as a golfer, and that kid and that and that father, his father there, um, grandfather I would say, sorry, who watched me, they're gonna think I'm an absolute bloody plonker who doesn't know how to play golf. You know, I'm a, I'm now, well, God knows what I'm gonna be after this round, but I was at eleven point two after after that. See, I'm not my handicap up a little bit, but I'm I'm, a, I'm an eleven handicap. I'm not I'm not a thirty six handicap like I played there. I'm an 11 handicapper and I, sh and I should be doing better than that. That, that. That's pathetic what I've done out there. The last three holes, I've just shown that kid's... That, 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 lad, that, that, that grandfather's going to think, who the hell is this? He shouldn't be on a golf course like this. I've shown myself up and it, it's not right. It's pathetic. I'm bloody annoyed at myself. It's pathetic. But never mind. <sighs> When you have no energy golf heads, when you're sweating, when you're feeling sick, it's, I don't, I, it, it, I can't explain it to you. When you're irritated, when you, when you have mood swings up and down, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's very, very difficult. I mean, my hormones, because of this, this medication is all over the place. So I'm having mood swings during the rounds and stuff, which I don't normally show because I'm enjoying it that much. But I do have moments where I feel down and when I, I'm, sometimes I'm so hyper and sometimes I can be irritated and sometimes out of nowhere I'll be, you know, panicking for no, for no reason. It's got a lot to do with the hormones. It's all mixed up, but that's still not an excuse for, for doing that. Even if, even if I was so bloody buggered, I, I couldn't bloody lift myself out of a chair. There's no excuse for that. Have some bloody pride, John. But anyway, that's enough of telling myself off. It was a decent course. I'm just an amateur. I've got to remember that. And I am going through difficult times at the minute with my health. And I should just be grateful I'm out playing golf. I mean, up to up to, up to to 15 holes, 
I played some bloody good golf. Apart from one hole, the 11th where I lost my ball. I played some bloody good golf there. Especially the front nine, I played some bloody good golf. Um, my drives weren't perfect by any means, but my irons were good, my chip shots were good, my short game was good, some of my, my um, clutch putting was good. And I have to focus on them positives. I've got to say to myself, look, that was just a blip. 16, 17, 18, it's just a blip. That's just you being tired, that's just you. Because you're so tired and, and stuff and you're feeling sick and you're not feeling very well. That's just you being had enough. You've just had enough because you knew the 85 was gone. And you're thinking to yourself now, why am I suffering just to go around? Because it's not worth it. I, I'm not proving anything here. I, know, I, I understand that mentally. But I've never disintegrated like that on a course before in my life. And I feel bloody awful about it. And... You, you've seen the video, you know I can play golf, I know I can play golf, which is why I'm so disappointed that I've, I've gone like plus 11 or something in three holes. It shouldn't have happened. But no, Crook, I'll definitely be putting that on my book list, interesting course, I'll be playing that again along with Seam and possibly Hortonley Spring. The one that I would definitely avoid is Bishop Auckland, um, Darlington, bit flat for me I think. It's a tough course, it's not wrong with the course, 30 quid, um, reasonably priced, but just too flat. I mean, this was £21, and it's a very good course, actually. I would play it again. Very interesting course. Um, it's up there with Hortonley Spring and see him definitely. Um, so I will be coming back at some point to play this course. Uh, same with see him and Hortonley Spring, possibly, possibly. So, yeah, um, I value for money and everything. And the condition of the course, um, probably, probably up there with see him eight and a half. I'd give it eight and a half. Hortley Spring, I'd give eight. Bishop Orton again, like I say, five, six. It wasn't well, I didn't like Bishop. Um, and the Darlington Club seven, but this is up there with see him. This is definitely up there with see him, and it's definitely worth another go. Um, to see if I can break 85 next time. Same with Seam. I'll definitely be giving that another go. No question. No question I'll be playing Seam again. Um, so there's two courses on my bucket list. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed most of the video. Um, I think at some point. It might even be. The 94 rather than 93. I shot 93 or 94. I think when I got to the 12th, what I've done, when I think about it now, I thought I got a par. But I think that was me doing it. I did two things. I did it once because there was uh, I, that kitty and the, the father was on the next hole, you see, on the next tee. So what I think I've done is it might have been a five. It might have been a five. I think I might have missed a short put. I think it might have been a five, so it might be a 94 rather than a 93. Um, and I think the second one I did was a par when I said on the video, oh, I think I parred it. Um, I'm not sure I did. So if you see me putting twice on the same hole, don't worry about it. Um, that's that's me just doing like a practice thing. So I think I got a four. No, a five. Five, sorry. So it might be a 94 I got. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking i wouldn't have a go at anybody for skipping the last three holes because that's just that's just not on what i've done the last three holes once you know so please if you want don't even wait it's too late now you're hearing me last video but just just ignore that and please watch the other holes where i played decent golf but don't watch that because that was just like that's like watching like just an idiot play not me it was me but it's just not how i play golf which i'm i'm really gutted about so anyway keep subscribing keep liking this is john from john hutton golf channel sorry a lot of this has been telling myself off but crook is a very good golf course for the price and the value i'd put it up there eight and a half nine out of ten definitely up there with seam and definitely worth another go so thanks very much for watching keep subscribing and liking and hopefully I'll see you soon for another video. I'm going to go at the clubhouse now, try and calm down, have a drink, cool myself down, and um, 
I might pop the Whitney Weir actually because it's just down the road here. It's about six miles away where I used to live and see what the little village, see what it used to be like before heading home. Thanks very much um, for subscribing and liking again. Um, I promise you next time I'll try and do my, my best and I'll certainly do better than a 94, 93, whatever it was. So thanks very much for watching. I'll speak later in um, my next video. Cheers. Bye for now. Sums it up, doesn't it? <sighs> Sorry, this is the last bit I want to do. The clubhouse is shut because they're having a wedding function, so I can't get a drink. That's marvellous, isn't it? That just sums the day up, but never mind. Thanks for subscribing and liking. This is John from John Hutton Golf Channel, and I've got to find somewhere else to have a, a cup of tea and, a, and orange and blackcurrant. <laughs> See you later. Bye.